First of all, you're absolutely stunning. And congratulations on all your accomplishments. Now, Thank you. Why don't you tell us about The Unbreakable Woman? Congratulations on that. <laughs> you said start off right into right the book. In yeah. <laughs> so I was actually, I had... Um, in my opinion, called to actually write this book. It is a mixture of a memoir of my personal hardships that I faced and encountered in life and actionable, you know, strategies to deal with adversity and having a child or family members with special needs and just dealing with divorce. But it's for anyone who has encountered any type of substance abuse or mental health disorder. So it's not just specific to some of my own challenges, but people who just d deal with adversity and just childhood trauma or anything like that. It's an actionable strategy. It's it's filled with uh, tools and navigating that journey in your life. And if you have a roadblock, this could be a tool to help guide you through that and what that might look like for you. And when I'm, as I'm listening to you in the back of, you know, in, in my mind, I keep thinking of she's a giver. You give so much to the community. Why don't you tell the viewers about some of that? You know, I really enjoy mentorship and that's what I've been really doing now, just really um, helping other women start their meds by businesses, utilizing my social media platforms to highlight some of the women within the community mm -hmm. that have uh, their own businesses and are on the path and track for entrepreneurship and what that might look like. I've interviewed people even highlighting different, uh, you know, software and different uh, AI technology within the business world and how that might look coming up into 2024 with being a business owner. So just how do you feel about some that? of that technology. I think that it there's pros and cons, but we also have to be op open-minded and flexible and you have to stay abreast on all technology because you'll be left behind. Um, it can help catapult your business in terms of streamlining and getting paperwork and consent signed and being able to use social media marketing. So it's very helpful, but there are some issues with uh, privacy that um, have to be ironed out even more. And that's always a challenge right? Mm -hmm. No matter what you're doing, uh, uh, privacy can be compromised. So just making sure that we um, keep like strong regulations in regards to that. But that's what that's a challenge regardless. On a side note, um, I wanted you to know that I recognize how hard it is to deal with children with special needs because I have a um, background in mental health. So um, I work with children with autism. So my heart goes out to you. And I wanted to know, how do you juggle it all? Because it's hard for me sometimes. <laughs> it's hard for me a lot. How do you juggle everything? Well, I must say I'm blessed to have a foundation of being in the healthcare field in addition to being a parent. So it really does strengthen my knowledge base and being able to advocate. Mm -hmm. So I know what to advocate for, mm -hmm. but that still didn't, you know, come without challenges. You mm -hmm. still have to know exactly what's even being offered in order to know what to actually advocate for. So that's how I felt when writing the book. I felt like initially I want to iron out some of these barriers to accessing care or accessing state funded uh, programs that are available for families with uh, children with disabilities and special mm -hmm. needs. But other than that, uh, I just felt like if I can compile a list, <laughs> which took me years to form and put it in one place and, and allow it to be a tool for so many families, that's a form of empowerment. Yeah, because a lot of families feel helpless. And definitely, definitely. There are a lot of tools out there that they're not aware of, and they don't even know where to look. They don't know how to begin the process. So Yes, this this will definitely like obviously there's uh, you know the book would be 
pretty lengthy if I was able to add any and every additional resource that was available. But this is a good starting place, a good starting point, especially when families are unaware of different, uh, you know, social mm -hmm. or economic, you know, policies that they need to be well informed of or developing a special needs trust. You have to have a special trust when you're trying to prepare for your children's financial future and just, you know, just becoming strengthening and more um, knowledgeable about your economic empowerment. So. So you are a woman like myself that wears many hats. So on any given day, if you had to just choose one thing, just one thing, your favorite thing, what would it be? Because you offer a number of services. Oh, in terms of oh, career -wise. owning a med found offering services, uh -huh. I really, I really can appreciate a really good facial, and I love the PRP facials mm -hmm. because it really does show a really vibrant change in your skin and a, a appearance. It gives you a very healthy glow and just a smooth texture as well. It's a significant difference when you start utilizing these self care options from a med spa, you know, place or establishment. So when you actually start tuning in to your body and actually start noticing the necessity of having some of these procedures done, then you actually realize how it can really change the way you view yourself and your skin and the health overall. But I also preach about the physical, the mental, the social, the economic, um, all of those things we kind of discuss during appointments and just see if there's any barriers or any knowledge deficits when patients are within the clinic, but I love, I love all of it. I love aesthetics, but I'm not just into aesthetics. I do acute care and I also, you know, ch deal with other challenges as well. So, okay. So I'm going to be quiet for a moment and I want you to let everyone know how they can find you on social media, where they can visit you and take advantage of these wonderful services that you have and where they can purchase your book. Oh, definitely. I have so many uh, social media outlets, but, but you can definitely uh, go to www.carefirstwellnessmassbuy.com. I have Dr. Natasha, the MP website, and I also have author underscore Natasha Weems, the MP. My book is on Barnes and Noble and Amazon and on my personal website. Mm -hmm. But if you, you know, I, I do public speaking too. So just wanting to highlight, you know, destigmatizing mental health and really talking about mm -hmm. empowering women and knowing that you can be unbreakable. So that is my stance. And that is what, you know, my legacy I'm leaving behind. Well, thank you so very much for speaking with me today. <laughs> um, it was a pleasure. Like I am, I'm so impressed. I love women that like to empower others. And you know what? It always makes me feel just a little bit better when I know that you give back to the community because it's a lot of people that's suffering and it's a lot of people well, that's suffering and they don't speak up. And so what you do, it goes a long way. Well, that's, that's important to have your community behind you because it's the grassroots method and you go back into the community in which you come from and try to empower your community and then learning that you could do it on a global level, you know, start local and go from a, a national level to try to impact change and tackle some of these policies that need to be addressed. Okay. Well, I, what's the weather like over there on the West Coast? It's really nice, although I have like this blazer on. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful outside. It's sunny and we are going to go out snow. to the <laughs> I'm they, gonna go out they today. Bad. So. They out there trying to get out this they stuck in the snow out here right now. That's why I'm like, I'm listening to Where people. are you at? I'm in I'm in um the suburbs of Philadelphia. Oh, I thought yeah. you were in Atlanta. No, okay. I'm there, I'm there a lot, but today I'm here and we got a lot of snow over the past week or so. So wow. it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's really bad. And I'm like, where I live, it used to be a farm. So I'm on an acre of land that's covered in snow. So yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm, so I'm super jealous. Be safe. Yeah. So I'm super jealous <laughs> while you're out there with that beautiful weather.
But thank you yes. so much. <laughs> yes, nice. and so for call to action, any organizations that would love to partner with with me and my team to mm -hmm. actually make some of these changes and help, you know, women and businesses, entrepreneurs, and oh, a couple of events that are coming up. Okay. I need to add that because my girls would be upset with me. Um, but we're doing a a networking red carpet women's empowerment event and that's going to be march 8th in la so tune in to social media because we'll be posting some information about that and i also have a, a event with the, the billboard inc february 8th i'm excited about that that's a new uh reality tv show Ooh. so yes it's so <laughs> fancy i love it and so there's so many opportunities coming my way and i have so many more announcements but yes yeah, stay tuned and follow me on social media dr natasha underscore now don't be stingy with the photos from these events please <laughs> send them my way so i can let everybody know how it went okay thank uh, you so I much i appreciate you okay have a good one bye-bye bye, -bye. bye. <laughs>